you guys and welcome back to yet another exciting video. My name is Greg and today we're going to be starting a new thing on the channel which is going to be called Editor's Reactions. Basically I'm going to be reacting to a whole lot of awesome travel and cinematic videos by popular creators around the world and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on how they did their effects and what they did well and what they did badly in their videos. And to kick off the first episode we're going to be reacting to a video by Andrew James called Anyone Can Create. And for the two of you who are not subscribed to Andrew James, his link will be down below and you guys definitely need to go and subscribe to his channel. He really is an awesome filmmaker and he really does produce some great content. Anyway, I think I've spoken just about enough. So I'm going to chuck on my earphones, we're going to hop on the computer and we're going to start watching his video. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Good sound design. Okay, so that clip that was right there of him walking on the roof is actually incredible. The way that he did that. If you go, he actually made a video on how he did this. If you go and look at the original clip, it really isn't that great. It's him walking on a roof with a blue sky in the background, nothing much. Basically, what he went and did is he did a sky replacement, which he's very good at doing. He replaced it with a thunder. He color graded the entire clip to match the sky. He also added some fake branches into the video to give it a little bit of a better framing. And to top it off, he had some brilliant color grading and brilliant sound design. Um, that is really one of my favorite clips in his entire edit. And here with the graffiti playing on the wall, it's just amazing. A little bit of a day to night transition there. Okay, so my first tutorial I ever made on Premiere Pro uh, and on my YouTube channel was in fact a tutorial on how to do what he just did there with the eye, except I was zooming into the eye. He is having videos play in the reflection of his eye, except he did it way better than I did it back when I started, I think it was about seven months ago. It looks amazing and, and credits go to him for that. He absolutely nailed this effect in his video and it really gives uh, an awesome feel to the video. Anyway, let's carry on. Nice colors. Mm. Oh, the backflip. Okay, so in the end of this video, you'll actually see that this clip that he shot, uh, he overexposed it a lot so that the sky was almost completely white so that he could make his sky replacement really look amazing. Basically, what he used on this clip is pre-planning. He knew that he wanted to do a sky replacement with this shot, so he purposefully overexposed the background so that it was easy to remove the sky and replace it with this absolutely amazing sunset to go with his backflip, which is really, really cool. And it looks so nice because it matches the water, the reflection on the water matches the sky, and overall it's just a really good clean sky replacement down to some great pre-planning. So let me just stop it there. So basically on that clip, he used a plugin from Red Giant called Chromatic Aberration. As you get closer to the edges of your video, uh, an RGB split starts to take place. And as you get closer to the edge of the video, the more evident the RGB split is. I did a tutorial on this and I'll link it down below, except this is a plugin, so he didn't use the same effects as me. I created my own one using some effects inside of Premiere Pro. Can really hear that police car. Oh my word. So basically the, he, he did 3D modeling in After Effects and he took a camera and he made a 3D model of a camera and he made it bounce off his hands like that and then zoom through the screen. If you're watching this Andrew James just well done. Nice constant motion, same direction. Okay, again, Andrew James made a tutorial on this. Go check it out on his channel. Basically, he put a fake plane in the sky and then he made it turn into a bird, which I believe is called Morphing. I'm not too sure if I'm correct in that. It goes really nicely in his video and the motion of the camera goes together well with the two shots. Again, he's keeping that constant motion going in the same direction.
Okay, some form of glitch going on there. And there it is. That is the most insane part of the video. The entire video is literally for me is based upon that effect. What you see him doing in that thing is he takes his iPhone and he throws his real iPhone, he throws it in the air, spins about and he catches it. But once he's thrown it about, I think, I think he threw it about a meter and then he mastered out and put another 3D model of an iPhone on and then he animated it so perfectly, it looks so natural and it flew up into the sky, he zoomed into his clip and the iPhone slowly rotated till the screen was um, like sort of parallel with, with the camera and then it zoomed straight through the screen into the next clip. Again, he did this insanely well. It's, it's so smooth and it looks absolutely amazing. The animations are all on point, color grading's brilliant and it just overall looks like a brilliant effect. Good sound design. It's honestly one of my best videos I've ever watched. Uh, to me, that that comes close to Sam Calder's 27, 2016 Mario video, which is probably one of the world's best travel videos ever created. But really, Andrew, if you're watching my video, you did an insane job to do all of these effects. You nailed every aspect of this video. Your color grading was amazing. The sound design was brilliant. Your animations with your 3D models and everything was so good. Um, I'll link all the effects that he did. I'll link tutorials to them in the description below. I've done a couple of them. He's done a couple of them. Definitely go and subscribe to him right now. Like pause the video. Like if, if you're busy watching my video right now, hit the pause button, head down into the description and subscribe to Andrew James before you continue watching this video. I'll, I'll wait for you. So once you guys have subscribed to Andrew James, don't forget to drop a like on my video. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. Um, last video, um, Adam Marco was the first person to comment on my video. I'll pop his comment on the screen right now. If you turn on my post notifications and are the first to comment on any of my videos, I will feature you in my next video, like I just did for Adam. That being said, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications. I post two new filmmaking tutorials every single week, so I'll catch you in the next one.